Hello everybody, Nettie Owens with Safari Solutions Professional Organizing coming to you today with your daily organizing time management productivity and systems tip. And I'm happy to join you today. I've got my deck of questions that I'm going to go through here today. Um, but I just want to start out by saying I've really enjoyed having the chance to get to talk to you and get to share these organizing tips. And I love um, having this kind of real time discussion. So if there's something that you would like an answer to, or you'd like me to talk about a particular question, you've just got this burning, uh, you know, how do I do mm -hmm. X, let me know, send me an email mm -hmm. or just comment on the feed below. And I would love to answer that for you in an upcoming um, daily tip. So just go ahead and, and reach out to me. Um, so Safari Solutions provides professional organizing services um, to help you create an environment that supports who you are, what you're doing, and where you're going. And um, that means time management, that means systems, that means obviously organizing, which we talk about a lot, but these are all tools that you're going to use to create space, to create containers in your life to hold all the important stuff that you want to be doing. And Ninja Tip, Make sure your kids are busy before you start going on Facebook Live, <laughs> right? Um, anyways, I remember you know that that great um, that great video clip where the dad is on a live news broadcast and his kids come on. Right now, this lovely environment that you're seeing is right off of my kitchen, and um, my seven-year-old is feeling the need to get things out of the refrigerator and use the microwave and do all sorts of other disruptive things instead of giving me a few minutes to do this particular video. So I'm feeling very much like that man <laughs> on that live newscast um, who had his news broadcast interrupted when all the kids came charging into the house. But the fabulous thing is that it segues perfectly to the question that I'm going to answer today, and that is... How do you work with a partner who is ADHD, um, who won't do anything about it, and, um, and therefore the other person who's responding to it is pulled in many different directions? Um, so the reason I say that this segues perfectly is that there are going to be other people in your life all the time. You want other people in your life all the time. You want to have those relationships. Certainly, you want to have good boundaries so that people respect them, um, which is currently not necessarily happening at the moment. Um, but those, that's an opportunity for you, for myself included, to be more clear about your communication. Um, and if that's not happening, then that's certainly an area for discussion. So the question here again was, how do you work with a partner who is ADHD? And, um, and then there's this extra little, like, and won't do anything about it. Well, here's the thing. We are all created in a very specific and special way. And in people who are ADHD, that is exactly the way that they're created. It's not anything that they can particularly control, um, just like you can't control the color of your eyes um, or you know, how tall you are or any of those things. It's just how that person was made and it's how their brain is particularly wired. So it's, it, you know, um, there are a number of different things that, the, that any person can do um, to help support um, what's going on with their brain. Um, but I, I just want to make sure it's clear that this isn't like a problem to solve. It's certainly more of just an understanding of how um, this brain is functioning and creating creating an environment that's more supportive to that. So that's number one, is to like look at how you're considering and approaching it and consider that everybody that you interact with has strengths and they have challenges, including you. And you really want to make sure that you're bringing your strengths to the table and you're recognizing the strengths with each other person that is in your environment. What are the strengths of that person who's ADHD? They might drive you crazy because they're always forgetting things. You never forget things, but um, they probably have awesome other skills that 
can be emphasized and that's what we want to do. So if you find that you're working with somebody who um, has that particular challenge or other things that are frustrating you, the number one thing that I would suggest is to look at what their strengths are and what they're doing well. That being said, ADHD pr presents a number of very particular challenges. Um, organization is a challenge. The passage of time and understanding it is a challenge, so therefore time management becomes a challenge. Um, future planning and goal setting can be a challenge, emotional regulation. All of these are areas that are typically impacted when a person is experiencing, uh, you know, has that experience. So what is what I recommend, um, what others recommend, are to consider outsourced executive functions. Um, and you probably are familiar with these kinds of things. So executive functions control organization, time management, future planning, goal setting. And when we can think of ways to outsource them so that the person isn't responsible for them, you know, it's not all being stored and, and created in their head, but it's happening outside. These are things like planners and timers and written goals, um, checklists and other things, which by the way, you could consider this universal design for your brain because uh, they're tools that work for everyone. So if you are finding that there's challenges, find ways to create tools that support that person instead of trying to fix, because there's really nothing wrong, right? There's nothing wrong with how they were made. We need to find ways to support that person, uh, emphasize their strengths, and give them tools and resources to work with. I hope this helps. And it's so, I'm, I'm just going to give you one more little tidbit. I know this one's a longer one. Um, but there are a lot of people who either naturally or because of other issues have challenges that either are ADHD or look like ADHD. Um, so just be considerate and, and understand that we do need to be kind and generous and, and view people with their strengths versus what we can fix. All right, that's it for today. I'm Nettie Owens with Sapari Solutions, creating an environment that supports who you are, what you're doing, and where you're going. I hope you'll subscribe, and I hope you'll ask the question that you have in your mind. Bye-bye.